Well, let's get started with the big news of the day, um, and there may be more updated news. I'm getting started at uh, around 3 o'clock. This is the latest that I have seen via Ian Rappaport. We can call it good news, we can call it bad news, depending on how optimistic or pessimistic you were being yesterday. Packers quarterback Jordan Love, who went down with a lower leg injury late in his team's loss to the Eagles in Brazil, had tests on his knee today that release uh, that revealed an MCL sprain, sources said. No ACL damage. Now, Ian is the only one that used the word sprain, which is a big deal. Everybody else is just going out saying, oh, it's an MCL, it's an MCL. Like, wh what are you, wh what? Like, what? what's wrong? Ian said MCL sprain. Now, there's still gradients to that, right? Nothing tore, ACL's okay, ankle's okay, not high ankle, all this stuff, right? There's a lot of optimism, and that's good. I think there's no reason not to be optimistic um, until you find out otherwise, so I understand it. But let's take a look real quick. Uh, I, I've been lately posting a lot of this stuff. I call it uh, jock, uh, jock, Doc GPT, because essentially I don't know what all these things mean, and so I go over to AI and ask it what it means. So let's go through some of this stuff. There's essentially, because it is a strain... There's a couple things. There's three grades. Grade one, two, and three. There's a mild sprain, moderate sprain, severe sprain. Let's start from worst first, because why not? Symptoms. Complete tear of the MCL. Now, again, I, I don't think that's it, right? But it says severe sprain. Like, whatever. Let's just go through it. Causing significant pain, swelling, and instability. Recovery time is usually six to eight weeks, but it could be longer. Um, I, I, listen, they were in a tough spot. They're in another country. I don't know exactly what the protocols are and everything else, but my thought process, and I may be way off on this, if we're talking something this severe, where there is a, um, significant pain, swelling, and instability, maybe they don't have a brace to put on them. I don't know. But a lot of people have pointed out how, you know, there's video of him walking around the sideline. There's video of him walking down the, the plane by himself. He looks to be walking a little gingerly, but that's it. I just, I feel as though the team would be taking further precautions if he had. So let, let me tell you this for an example. Um, talking to my half Mexican attorney, he was kind of going through, obviously doing a lot of deep dive stuff, looking into some of this. One of the, the things that'll happen when you have, for example, a tear or severe thing, whatever, is when you don't have that stability anymore, right? And your leg is, is not able to sustain itself. First of all, I, I tore my ACL. I re-injured my knee 500,000 times. I never went to rehab. I never got it uh, surgically repaired. Nothing. Complete tear. I just left it. The problem is when you don't have stability, your knee just goes pop, pop. Similar to what happened to Jordan Love, my knee did that once a week when I was in college for a long time. It would just do that. I would drop to the ground. My knee would swell up this big. I couldn't walk for a week. Um, I, I just I feel as though if he is not stable and if he is able to re-injure his knee, I'm talking like just walking and all this stuff, it's hard to imagine they'd just be like, whatever, let him walk on it. It's fine. You know, and maybe maybe he did have a brace on. Maybe he had something on. You just couldn't see it under, like, the, the sweatpants or whatever that he had on. It just when, when I see significant pain, swelling, and instability, that doesn't seem to fit the fact that it's like, yeah, he's, he's hurting, but he'll be all right. Just give him some, some freaking Tylenol. Grade 2, moderate sprain, partial tear of the MCL, moderate pain and swelling with some instability, generally three to six weeks. Now we're kind of getting into the, like, well, maybe, right? So there's a little bit of pain, there's some swelling, and, you know, maybe a little bit of instability, but it'll be okay. Um, this is, so this is kind of getting into that range where if it's like, if it's three weeks, that's manageable. If it's six, okay, but that really sucks. Because I'm assuming this is a lot of losses. Same with six to eight, by the way. Um, you know, we, we didn't get things going until about week nine, but we still won quite a few games in that period of, of things don't look great. I don't know if that's going to happen. But here's the more positive one here, which is a mild strain, uh, sprain. Slight stretching or maybe a minor tear of the ligament. Mild tenderness and discomfort, but the knee remains stable. Now, the good thing I like about this is, and again, I don't know, 
If there's concerns about stability, I would expect more assistance for Jordan. If there's no real concerns about the stability aspect of it, and it's mostly a pain management and swelling management thing, we're in this mild sprain range. It's not really so much a tear as it is a stretching, which leads to um, pain, discomfort, swelling, etc. But beyond that, that's really all we're dealing with here. Recovery timetable is typically one to three weeks. Treatment is rest, ice, compression, elevation, rice, and possibly wearing a brace. Physical therapy to restore strength and range of motion. Return to play with proper rehab. Jordan could potentially return to field uh, to the field in a few weeks. Now there have been other examples. I saw Boss. Uh, I tried to look into this a little bit, but we'll we'll do that in in a little bit uh, later once we get more details on how serious it is. But he had pointed out a couple of guys that. I mean, maybe missed a week, maybe even less. You know, it's just a matter of like, yeah, it, it, it got stretched. It was a strain, but like, it's just a pain management thing. Um, and if that is the case, I'm, I'm, I'm just saying it, it may be like, it might be one to three weeks. I, I, I'm not speaking as a doctor here, but I'm just thinking through this. If we are talking about tenderness, discomfort, um, swelling, maybe a little bit, whatever, but it's not necessarily a risk of knee in, uh, a risk of re-injury. It's possible we could see the guy wearing a brace in a couple of weeks on his knee and just riding with it. Yes, it hurts. Yes, it's not comfortable. No, he's probably not going to be taken off and running. There may be some issues with planting this, that, or the other. I'm, I'm the most positive. I mean, listen. I, I for all I know, he could be playing this upcoming week. I don't know. Last night, I thought he was done with an ACL tear. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of done guessing. I'm just trying to go through the information as I see it here uh, and leaving all options open. It is funny, too. Uh, one of the things I was thinking about, you know, part of the curse of being a Green Bay Packers quarterback, Jordan, I'm sorry to tell you this, it comes with a lot of great things. You, you, you have greatness. You, have, uh, you, you get one Super Bowl, lots of playoff wins. You're, you're worshipped in the state of Wisconsin and among Packer fans. One of the downsides, though, is you're going to have to play through some serious injuries. We had the Iron Man himself, Brett Favre, and although Aaron Rodgers wasn't exactly up to the Iron Man standards, that dude played through some serious stuff. He went down with a serious knee injury, came back in the second half, stoned out of his mind, and beat the Chicago Bears. Dudes, these guys have played with broken bones and strains and all kinds of stuff. I'm just saying, Jordan, you may be expected to, you know, live up to that that standard. I'm just I'm just saying no, but no. In, in all seriousness, I mean, there there is reason to believe that this could be a short term uh, turnaround thing. Now that still. Of course means, you know, we've got an upcoming schedule. We've got some games that you kind of were hoping to be able to win that maybe you're not looking at winning. And then when Jordan comes back, you start to get into the tougher stretch, Houston Texans, et cetera, et cetera, whatever. We don't need to get into doom and gloom period now. We're just kind of taking it a step at a time. Um, as far as I'm concerned, this is good news. Again, it sounds like worst case scenario is eight weeks. It's a half a season. If we can squeeze out a couple wins out of this, um, you know, and get the defense right, get some of these guys right. Who's to say? We'll see how it goes. We got a lot of football to play. Um, like I said before, too, I I have uh, I spent a lot of time counting out the Green Bay Packers the last two years. You know, you get to halfway through the season, they're ninety five percent eliminated from the playoffs, and it's like, all right, I'm done. I'm moving on, and boom, that's immediately when things kick on and everything's great. So I'm done counting out the Packers and moving out of the draft until they're officially eliminated. Uh, then there is long-term considerations. There is risk of re-injury even after recovery. Jordan will need to be cautious. The ligament will be more susceptible to future injuries, especially if he returns to play too soon. So that's kind of the concern. But again, I feel like a brace is, you know, you're not depending on the ligament to support the knee anymore. You're depending on the brace. Um Knee stability, the strength and stability of the knee will uh, be closely monitored. In some cases, athletes need to adjust their playing style to reduce strain on the knee. Ongoing physical therapy will be crucial to prevent complications and ensure full recovery. Strengthening the surrounding muscles, particularly the quadriceps and hamstrings, will be essential. If Jordan follows his rehab plan and doesn't rush back too quickly, he should recover fully and return to his previous level of performance. The key is to balance the desire to return with the need to heal fully to avoid long-term issues. So. 
this is basically brand new information to me. So as far as I know, I'm going to go look at this and there's going to be a whole bunch of updates. But um, that's all I've got on Jordan as of this exact second. And sure enough, just when I end, uh, ended that clip there, Tom Pelissero, Packers quarterback Jordan Love's initial timetable for return is in the three to six week range per sources. Some early optimism he could return sooner than that, pending a second opinion. So what does that mean? That's right in that second range. It's a mild, or not mild, mid, whatever the mid one was. I don't remember. Um, uh, partial tear kind of range, I guess. Um, not the best, not the worst news. It's just, it's right in there. Packers are not eliminated. And he pointed out, you know, the next three opponents. So we assume he's out for three weeks, according to this. Second opinion, but I don't know if I've ever seen them get a second opinion and it changes drastically. They always do a second opinion and it never changes. Next three opponents, Colts, Titans, Vikings. You can look at that as positive or you can look at that as a negative. On one hand, you could look at it and say, these are the easy games we're supposed to win. We would win with Jordan. We probably will not win or it's very certainly iffy with Malik Willis. Um, the positive side, though, is if Jordan has to be out, you want at least a fighting chance to win, and these are some teams that give you a fighting chance. Uh, now, we'll see. I don't know how good the Colts, Titans, and Vikings are going to be. I have serious reservations about all three teams. Um, we have not seen the Colts quarterback play good football. We didn't see him hardly play football, but um, I, I, he didn't seem great when he was last out there. Titans, same thing. They got a young quarterback. Maybe he takes a huge jump. Maybe this is a, a revamped team. I don't know, but reason to believe they're not super great. And then the Vikings, same thing. Um, presumably not going to be a very good team, but who knows? Maybe the Sam Darnold thing is going to be, you know, he's a moderate player, good play caller, great wide receiver, defense can figure it out. I don't know, but I think the Packers have a fighting chance over the next three weeks. Beyond that, we'll see. Hopefully he comes back uh, sooner rather than later. We got to see what the Packers decide to do at quarterback. Um, you know, we'll, we'll see if this if they put Jordan on IR, are they going to go out and try to get another quarterback? If they get another quarterback, is that going to be a quarterback to replace Malik Willis? Because Malik was meant to be more of a um, uh, a stopgap. You know, he, he was more of a developmental guy. Like, you know, if, if he goes out for a quarter, if he goes out for a play, if it's maybe a game, fine, but we want him to be a developmental guy. We were not planning on him being out here for three, four, five, six weeks. Um, we'll see. We'll see. Lots more to figure out, but that's all I know as of right now.